I saw this on TikTok, so I'm going to basically do the same thing. Okay, so I am ranking all of the Project Sekai female characters based on how well I can voice them. Starting off with number one, we got Ivy Mamoy from More More Jump at your service! Ivy Mamoy is really easy for me to voice, actually. I can speak really, like, good as her. I don't know why. Plus, I get casted in a lot of fan dubs as her. And it's really fun to voice her because I really love More More Jump. And I really love Ivy as a character. Like, she's so amazing. I love her so much. Oh, my God. Um, and, yeah. Moving on to number two. I'm Saki Tenma of Leo Mead. Saki is such a cute character. And I wish I could voice her in more dubs. But, honestly, I don't get casted as her that much. But it's really easy for me to voice her. And I really, 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 really love to voice her. And I wish I'd get casted as her in some more dubs. But whatever. It's fine. I guess my Iri is just a little bit better anyways. Number three. We have Haruka Kiritani for more and more jump. I'm fairly new at voicing Haruka. Especially since my Haruka a couple months ago was not that good. But... Hey, it's more and more jump, and I love voicing more and more jump characters, and a lot of people seem to really like my Haruka, so I'm really happy about that. Number four, we have Kanade Oisaki from Night Quarter 25. Kanade is also a fairly easy character to voice because she's just kind of like quiet and whispery and breathy, and as long as you got all that parts down, you know, it's pretty easy to voice her, so um, yeah. Number 5, we got Enanan from Night Quarter 25, or Enna Shinanome. I really love to voice Enna, and in some of the dubs that I've been casted in, in like my early fandoming days, I'd always get casted as Enna. And I really do love to voice Enna a lot. A lot of Enna content seems to be like angsty, and it gets me to really like show out my emotion, and it just makes it so much more fun, because I really love to show my emotion and stuff when I do projects and stuff, and I don't get to do it that much, so whenever I voice Enana, I think it's always a great opportunity. Number six, we have Honami Mochizuki from Leonid. I really love Honami as a character. She's so, so, so cool. I love her so much. Oh my god, I wish I had more cards of her and stuff in-game, but not talking about in-game stuff, I don't voice her that much in that many servers, but I do voice her in one server, and that one server is pretty cool, actually. And they've had my eye on my Honami for months, and it just never casted me until, like, about a month ago, I think. So, I really like to, you know, voice act Honami there. And I really love to do Honami stuff for when I'm doing stuff on my own, you know? Number seven, we have Shizuko Hinamori for more and more jump. I don't know why, but voicing Shizuku is just kind of really easy for me. Like, it's like Honami, but more energetic in a way. I don't know how to explain it that well, but you catch my drift, right? It's pretty easy for me to voice her, and I don't really know much else to say because I don't really audition for her in that, many, in that many servers, and like, I don't get casted as her that much, but it's still really easy for me to do her voice. Also, I even though I don't get casted as her in that many servers, if you have any advice for, like, any of the voices I do, please let me know. I really need a lot of advice for some of them. Thank you so much! Number 8, we have Minori Hanasato from More More Jump. We pretty much cleared all of More More Jump already. Um, I really, really love More More Jump, so I always audition for More More Jump characters when they're open. Um, and Minori is no exception to that. I love Minori so much. She is one of my top three favorite characters, and I really love to voice her. I haven't been casted as her in any dubs yet, though. So, if you have advice for my Minori, please let me know. I also need to be a little more consistent with my voice. But besides consistency, I think I've got the hang of Minori. Number nine, we got Emma Watari from Wonderlandic Showtime! Wonderhoy! I really love to voice Emma in, in dubs when I can. Even though I don't voice her in that many, it's still super fun to voice her in all the dubs, you know? I voice acted her in, I think, one server, but it kind of died out, so I don't think I should count it, but it's whatever. I still really love to voice Emma when I'm all by myself doing my own stuff. Number 10, we have Nene Kusanagi from Wonderland X Showtime. I kind of got the hang of voicing her. It's like... Kanade, kind of, but a slight bit more, like, nasal 
and you, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't think I got the hang of it that much, but, like, when I do voice her, I think it's pretty fun. So, I do really love Nana as a character, too. I really love Nana. Oh, my gosh. She's so pretty. I love her so much. Number 11, we have Kohane Asasawa from Vivid Bad Squad. I thought I was really good at Kohane when I first started voicing her, but now that I do it now, it's like, eh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I think my other characters are better, though. But I do really like to voice Kohane, even though she's my kind of least favorite. But it's still really fun to voice her whenever I can. Number 12, we got Anjuraishi from Vivid Bad Squad. I kind of got the hang of doing it on voice. I've only been casted as her once, but honestly, that's okay. I don't really blame the people that uh, decide not to cast me as on. Because, you know, my other impressions are just a kind of slightly better. But that's okay. Whenever I get to voice on, it's always so much fun. I love voicing on so much. Oh my gosh. Especially singing as her. Oh my gosh. Singing as on is like so fun. Oh my gosh. Number 13. We have Mafuyu Asahina. I'm like quite a 25. Voicing Mafuyu is kind of a challenge for me. Um, Only because, you know, she has two split personalities kind of. You know, her fake one with, you know, her school and mom stuff. Mommy issues core. And... Um, her night chord, a 25 voice, when she has kind of, like, no emotion in her voice, but, like, you know, she, she's, it's still there, you know? You know what I'm saying? And I haven't voiced her in quite that many dubs yet. I don't think I've voiced her in any dubs, but, like, honestly, it's still kind of fun to voice her, even though I don't have the hang of it yet. Um, but yeah. Number 14, we have Mizuki Akiyama from Night Quarter 25. I really like to voice Mizuki, even though I hardly get the chance to. It's really fun to do stuff with them, even when I'm not casting as them in any dubs. I just really, really love to voice them. I think that Mizuki is also such a well-written character. Oh my gosh. I love Mizuki so much. Oh my gosh. They're not my favorite from Night Court, because that award goes to Mafu and Enna. But like, I still really love to voice them whenever I get the chance to. Number 15, we have Ichiko Hoshino. From Leo Need. I don't really do that much stuff with Ichika, if I'm going to be really honest with you. And um, I haven't voiced her that many times. I've only done it for auditions and like one skit that I've done by myself. But, you know, besides that, I haven't voiced Ichika that much. And honestly, I don't think my voice fits her that well. So, whatever. I still really love Ichika as a character. And she used to be my favorite from Leo Need. So, yeah. Number 15, we have Shiho Hinamori from Leonid. I absolutely kind of suck at voicing Shiho, if I'm being honest. Her voice is a little too low for me. Like, my voice is more on the higher side. I can do a bit of low voices, but Shiho is definitely not one of them. But Shiho is still pretty cool. Um, Not my favorite, but she's still really cool. And uh, whenever I voice her, it's uh, always alright. Not the best experience, but whenever I do, it's always okay.